Welcome inside another episode of Crusaders Pregame. I'm Dave Dawson. Well, eight is enough, I guess, as they say. The eight-game winning streak is officially over to start the 2019-20 season for the Short Park Crusaders. Unfortunately, three to two losers last night at the Payson Centennial Arena in Okotoks. A scrappy penalty-filled affair as well. 188 penalty minutes. A lot of those in the second period in a complete melee. 37 to 17, the crew were outshot as well. A scrappy Okotoks Oilers team uh, really took it to them last night. They had a 3 1 lead, and then a uh, goal was scored in the second. And the Carter Savoy's goal in the third period early on was as close as the Crusaders got. So, as Jordan Fry unfortunately got the loss in that one. So, 8 and 1 now the Crusaders are as the Brooks Bandits are the lone undefeated team in the AJHL at 8 and 0. And uh, the tied right now for first place with the Spruce Grove Saints in the North Division with the Bonneville Pontiacs right on their heels at 15 points. Deja vu, kind of how it looked in 2019-20. So the uh, Crusaders will turn the page today to the Olds Grizzlies. Yeah, the Olds Grizzlies was never really an important matchup at all in uh, early on in the calendar. But uh, for this time around, Zafir Raji's Olds Grizzlies, his former team, they're taking them on today. And I know for Zafir, he's going to be pretty excited about that battle. Obviously, uh, Raji was traded for future considerations earlier in the week and right after the showcase, in fact. And I do think that that trade for the Crusaders, more than anything, was for Raji at this stage in his development in his second year, that is, it would be a great opportunity for him to see some more ice time and I think that uh, with the depth that the Sherwood Park has this year there wasn't really a spot to factor him in there so uh, the management staff had felt that that would be a good fit for Raji to see some more ice time there so in the future considerations trades you obviously don't find out uh, down the road until what the other side did look like but I know for Zafir Raji he was uh, d disappointed to have to leave the team but obviously a very consummate professional someone who is well spoken and excited about that opportunity so you know he's going to have a fire under him today when the old Grizz Grizzlies and the crew go toe-to-toe -to -toe at 2 o'clock on Hockey TV. And uh, the Grizzlies are minus 11 right now in the goals, four goals against category. Hunter Flores leads the way for the Old Grizzlies with nine points, and uh, six of those being goals, where six was how many games the Grizzlies won last year. So you know that they're going to be looking to change that this year as they're currently sitting sixth, which is now the final playoff spot, not seventh, the final playoff spot in the AJHL South Division because there are only seven teams there. The Grizzlies did take the Brooks Bandits to 3-2 to two last night, so they're a, a bit of a competitive team. Obviously, the Okotoks Oilers, I used that um, description yesterday, the Oilers are far heavier talented than the, Brooks, than the Olds Grizzlies, but uh, if they can take the Brooks Bandits to 3-2, to two, you know there's some scrappiness in them as well. They've lost... Uh, their last five games after losing their first and then winning two in a row in overtime to start the season. So the Grizzlies would love to turn that around today. But for the Sherwood Park Crusaders, you know they love to get back on the winning track, finish off this uh, three-game road trip on a winning note after dropping the game last night and that eight-game uh, consecutive streak. So we will find out. We'll dig through the record books a little more, but from what we knew, the eight games in a row wasn't a recorded record, but it probably already is a record. The crew are back at home next weekend, Friday, Saturday, and and Monday, Friday night for McMurray, Saturday Drum Heller, and Thanksgiving Monday, the Drayton Valley Thunder are in town. So the continual, they'll have a little bit of time off and then they'll be back home for three games in four nights. Well, thanks so much for watching this episode of Crusaders TV. Please tune in at 2 o'clock broadcast time on Hockey TV. And we will see you next weekend at the Spa.